interpreted the article. They said, uh, frequent Tucker Carlson guest Jason Whitlock used his Wednesday night appearance on Fox to call for the breakup of the country. Responding to Tuesday's arraignment to former president, um, of former President Donald Trump, Whitlock said that his interpretation of the Bible has led him to believe that it is time for conservatives to secede from the union. Whitlock, as Rolling Stone said, Whitlock went on a ramble about how the acceptance of transgender individuals in society was further proof that the country was beyond redemption. He says, quote, they don't believe in fair justice, equal treatment under the law. They don't believe in that. So you can't have a partnership with them. And then Jason Whitlock says this. God's instruction is that you've got to come out from among them and be separate. He went on to say, these guys are so far removed from the truth, so far removed from the values that made this country great. We can't really have partnership with them. And my mind went to secession we have to separate we have to come out from among them they're so unrighteous they're so unclean what Locke said well, let's listen to what he says here he calling trump the most righteous person in the world but anybody looking at this knows that alvin bragg and the democratic and the leftists are are, are lawless they, they don't believe in fair justice equal uh, treatment under the law, they don't believe in that. And and so you can't have partnership with them. And then if you go down to verse 17, Paul talks about God's instruction that you got to come out from among them and separate. That's what God instructed. And that's where I think we actually are, Tucker, is these guys are so far removed from the truth, so far removed from any of the values that made this country great, we can't really have partnership with them. And, and my mindset went to secession, that we have to separate, we have to come out from among them. They're so unrighteous, they're so unclean, that you know, finding common ground is, is impossible with people who think men can become women, who, who told us, hey, look, we just want two men to be able to get married, and, and there's no slippery slope, and that was a lie. And we've seen the slippery slope. Now now it's drag queens reading books to kids. Now it's taking kids to drag queen shows. Now it's uh, uh, mutilating kids and, and infecting them with gender dysphoria and using it as an excuse to cut off their breast or cut off their penis. You can't have peace. You can't have partnership with these people. There are so many lies stacked on top of lies from the whole Black Lives Matter, George Floyd deal, and oh, the police are just out indiscriminately killing black men and it's so dangerous because of the police. That's all a lie and everybody knows it. Well, what do you think about that? I mean, it's hard to disagree with him on these points, right? But is he, is he right about what the Bible is saying? Let's look. We've got, there's another... This is also the Tucker, the Tucker Carlson uh, interview. Jason Whitlock says the Bible prescribes secession. Let's see, I had another clip here. Uh, yeah, here we go. He was on with Bill O'Reilly the other day. He says pretty much the same thing. Let's listen to this. See it. I think it's time to seriously contemplate secession, and, and I say that in all seriousness. I, I don't have uh, common ground with the other side. I don't think the other side has common ground with anybody that has any faith in God. I don't think they have common ground with anybody that believes in our founding documents, that believes in our founding fathers, uh, that believes that America has been a force for good uh, over the course of its history and has bended towards justice. The, the other side wants to overthrow our founding our Christian values and want to create a, a society that bends towards the godless and the atheists and the secular crowd and the Marxists and the communists. And, and I don't think they're, they're changing. And so w when their position is that men can get pregnant, how do you reason with people like that? You don't. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode wow. anytime on Bill O'Reilly. Uh, O'Reilly's aged, hasn't he? Look at that. He's still kicking, though. 
Well, so I'm not sure what verse uh, or what what uh, I'm not sure what uh, what book Whitlock was in there. But what I did was I went out and uh, did some uh, s- some research and some reading and some study to come back for you and respond to what he said because he he used come out of her my people uh, be separate come out uh, and be separate and there's two two good uh, examples of that in scripture and both of them are talking about babylon and it is a it is an appropriate application or appropriately uh, an appropriate interpretation there to uh to say that What's being spoken of in both cases is real Babylon and spiritual Babylon. So let's deal with this for a minute. Let's find out what actually is is Whitlock right. Does the Bible say that we need to come out from her, from spiritual Babylon? And are we in spiritual Babylon? Let's see what the Bible actually says. So let's start out here i've got 